guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing really well today so i am currently in boston with one of my really good friends we came up here for a few days and i thought i would take you along on our trip with us for a little bit i've never spent any time up in this area so i'm really excited to just look around and see what the city is like and i thought i would show you guys my outfits while i'm at it so let me show you what i'm wearing today so as usual i've packed a lot of handmade and thrifted items so i thought it'd be fun to show you guys the outfits that i put together for this trip so today i have on this lace blouse which is from thread up and i really love this and i have this paired with some simple jeans these are madewell fair trade jeans and then this belt is also from thread up i found this just by searching for leather belt and i think i got this for like five dollars on thread up so it was a really good deal and then my trench coat is the j crew trench coat but i got it on poshmark it's definitely one of my most worn items in the fall and winter um so it's very versatile and then for my jewelry, I have this locket that is from Missouri and then these hoops, which were a very kind gift from Anna Luisa Jewelry. And then on my feet, there's my friend's suitcase. Um, on my feet, I have my Veja leather sneakers. So we're gonna head out. We're going to do the Freedom Trail today. And first we're gonna go get some breakfast. I will take you guys along for that. I also forgot to mention that the bag I have is this vintage coach crossbody bag. And this is the only bag I brought on this trip random ponytail holder but this is the bag that I will be using while I'm here yesterday there was sun and there was rain beauty in the Monday and as the light startled our eyes we let go of disguise Good morning guys, so we had such a fun day yesterday exploring the Freedom Trail here in Boston and seeing a lot of the historical sites. So today we are going to take a train out to Salem to see more history and let me show you what I'm wearing today. So today's outfit, excuse the unmade bed behind me, this is a dress that I made last fall and this is one of my favorite handmade dresses. This is McCall's pattern and I will have the video and pattern linked here. Um, but it is one of my favorites. I adjusted it to have this gathered skirt with a tiered detail and I just really love the style of it and it's the perfect fall dress. So with this, I just have my normal everyday Ana Luisa hoop and pearl earrings that I wear all the time. These were a very kind gift. And then I have my vintage coach bag. And I also have my Veja sneakers on, which you cannot really see here because her bag is in the way. Let's see, oh, there they are. My white leather Veja sneakers, which I wear all the time. So I'm gonna head downstairs and get some coffee and then we will be on our way to Salem. And it hasn't been very cold, but just in case it gets cold, I am going to take this sweater with me, which I can just put over top of this. And I feel like that will keep me very comfortable.
So I hadn't heard of this place, but we just met a local person here in Salem who told us to come here. This is called the Three Spinsters Garden and it is so beautiful. Let me show you. Look how beautiful this is. There's the church right here and then this is the house that goes with the garden. And I can't believe how in bloom it is this time of year either. These dahlias are so incredible. I'm out here looking for the Winter Island Lighthouse, and I think I just spotted it. And here it is. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. I just walked up a little ways to where there was an old fort and this is what you can see from here. It's a little bit colder now, so I've just put my cozy cable knit sweater on. This is a J. Crew sweater I got on Poshmark, so it is secondhand. And I'm just so happy to be up here at a lighthouse. It's so beautiful. Hey guys, so it is the next day now and last night my phone died, but we took the train back from Salem and it was so much fun seeing everything in Salem. I really enjoyed that. And we just came back and got dinner at a place called the Green Dragon, which is historical, but also the Lord of the Rings reference was kind of fun. Um, and then we came back here and watched a movie and we're just now getting ready to go back out today. It's actually around noon and we were really tired. So we decided to have breakfast here and just hang out here this morning. Um, so let me go ahead and show you my outfit. So it is supposed to rain today, so I've gone with a beret to keep my head from getting too wet, hopefully. This is from Nordstrom and it's pretty old. Um, and then for my outfit, I have this cashmere mock neck, which is a J. Crew one that I got on Poshmark, so it is secondhand. And then I have these pants, which are actually a recent addition to my wardrobe that I made last week. It's kind of hard to see them, but hopefully I'll get a better shot later on. These are the Seamwork Channing pant pattern and they are so comfortable and really easy to make as well. This fabric is a flannel cotton from Joanne Fabrics and it has this houndstooth pattern which is really pretty. And then the design is just pleated in the front with a smooth waistband but it's elasticated in the back so very very comfortable and it has pleats and side pockets so it gives it some nice shape and I really, really like them. They're super comfortable as well. It's like wearing pajamas in the daytime. And then I just have my same J. Crew via Poshmark trench coat and my little coach crossbody. My jewelry is the same again as well. Anna Louisa here and then my Missouri locket and then my boots, which will be hard to see here. But these are secondhand Everlane boots that I got on Thread Up. So we're gonna head to the Seaport District today and I will take you guys along for that.
Good morning guys, so today is a very exciting day for me because we are going to Concord and to Orchard House, which is Louisa May Alcott's uh, former residence, if you aren't familiar, and it's where Little Women is kind of set. So I'm so excited about that. That's a place I've wanted to go for such a long time, so I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and we need to go to the station, so let me show you what my outfit is today. So I have this pink beret, which is another one from Nordstrom, and once again, it's very old. And then these earrings are from Anna Luisa, and then this necklace was a gift from Missouri. And then I have on my most recent sewing project, or one of my most recent sewing projects, this little linen dress from Stitch Witch Patterns, and the fabric is from Merely Susan. And I just thought the print was so lovely and perfect for going to visit a Louisa May Alcott museum. And then I have my trench coat, same bag, and then these shoes, are some flats that I've had forever. I got them at DSW a really long time ago and I kind of want to wear them but I'm also considering swapping for sneakers just in case it's kind of cold because they don't have any side on them so I need to decide but we're gonna head out there now. So it is our last day of this trip. We're headed back home this afternoon, um, but I thought I would just quickly check back in with you guys because I think I kind of cut off filming yesterday afternoon, but we went to Concord and to Orchard House, which was so much fun. Unfortunately, I was not allowed to film inside of the house, but hopefully all the clips that I took kind of give you an idea of what it was like. It was just so much fun to see where Little Women was created. Um, so I really, really enjoyed that. It was a little bit of a rainy, cold day, so we came back and changed clothes and then just went out to dinner um, and then watched Clue, which was really fun as well. Um, so this is my airport outfit for today, I'm keeping it very simple and comfortable. This is a Poshmark striped sweater that's really nice and warm. Same trench coat, same bag, same Madewell jeans from before, you know the drill, and then I just have ballet flats on because they're easy to take on and off. But I hope you guys enjoyed coming on this trip with me. I will catch up with you a little bit when I get back home and show you the souvenirs that I bought. Hey guys, so it's actually a few days later and I am back and settled into my routine and work and everything, but I just wanted to quickly show you guys a few things that I bought while I was on this trip just to share the full experience. I really hope you guys have enjoyed coming along on this trip with me. So I just bought a few little fun souvenirs, so I thought I'd show them to you. Most of them are from Orchard House, but a couple of them were just from some gift shops and most of them are kind of like tea related. So the first one is this adorable little brass tea strainer. This was just in a gift shop and I just thought the detail was so pretty so I'll definitely enjoy using this and adding it to my tea things collection. This was from the Boston Tea Party Museum and as you might imagine they had a lot of tea related things in the gift shop so I just wanted to pick up a new tea for my collection so this is the one I got. This is a smoked pico black tea so I'm excited to try it. We'll see how it is. And then the last couple of things are from Orchard House. So I have two things that I collect when I travel, one being note cards and the other being tea. So I have a set of note cards and a tea. So the note cards are these, which I just think are so beautiful. They have Orchard House in the snow on them. So I thought these would make great Christmas cards this year. So I'm excited about that. 
And then apparently Harney and Sons makes a Orchard House specific tea. So of course I had to try this. So I'm really excited to crack this open and make a cup of it maybe this evening. And I just think the tin is so beautiful. I'll definitely be keeping this with the picture of Orchard House on it. I think that's so lovely. And then the last thing I got is a new copy of Little Women. I have two already, but I'm kind of a collector of my favorite books. So I end up with multiple copies of them. Um, so I got the one that looks like the one from the most recent movie. And I just thought this was such a fun thing to buy at Orchard House. I actually bought one for my younger sister as well, because we had recently watched the movie together and she'd mentioned that she really wanted one. So when I saw them, I thought I had to get her one as well. And a really nice little detail in the shop, they gave you these little book plates and also an Orchard House bookmark. So I thought that was really nice. And she she was very excited about her copy as well but I'm very happy to have this one in my collection but that is going to be it for this video guys I really hope you enjoyed coming on this trip with me and enjoyed seeing some of my handmade and thrifted wardrobe items put into use while I was traveling I had such a good time and it was just so fun to get out of town for a little while I'd been saving my airline rewards miles for a while to be able to do that so I was really excited to get to go on this trip and I hope you enjoyed coming along with me I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there for today guys and I will talk to you in a sewing video next week Bye.